Hi, Clive here from Visual. I just wanted to show you some of the work we've been doing with decision tables and how easily you can push them into Visual. So here's a Visual chart um, and we have some questions and we have a couple of empty boxes for our decision tables. I'm going to use two. What kind of questions we got? Well, we got stuff here, if you can see it says how often do you exercise? Uh, we're trying to give a rating for their exercise pattern. How often do you exercise? If you say never, we just go to the gym. Are you a member of a gym? If you say no, we ask you about swimming. If you do say you exercise, we ask how often, how long. And if you do go to a gym, we ask you how often. And if we look at our decision tables, I'll open up Excel and in Excel, Typically, we have a decision table that looks like this, and it says um, if you never exercise, then that's poor. If you exercise once or twice a week for 30 minutes and you belong to a gym, that's average. So we have a DMN uh, based decision table, that's the standard of the of the OMG. So this is a decision table and all the combinations are covered for the, we think for the different uh, answers to the questions and what the conclusion is. And we have another one um, here, have another one uh, for the recommendations. So let's close them. Let's get rid of that. Now let's come into here so if I edit the first one, I want to import the decision table. So it's here, grab it, and it's there. Let me make that a bit bigger. And you can see that um, the columns have been transposed into what's called implications. So these are prologue implications, these are logical statements. If the exercise frequency is never a gym membership is yes, and swim is yes, then pull. Um, whereas maybe if you um, exercise frequency is every day and the duration is 30 minutes, that's good. Um, so these are the different um, combinations of uh, logic that come out the decision table once or twice a week for an hour gym membership yes yes that's all fine okay so let's let's say that's okay let's go to the second one let's edit this one go to the statement decision table and that's in that file grab it pull it in that's there Okay, so we're all done. So let's save that. And now to check it works, I'm going to bring in the auto audit and I'm going to say run it a hundred times. And look, they all worked. That's encouraging. Let's have a look at the results. So it's generated me oh, a load of random test data and in each case we can see the answers are good, average, fine, exactly what we'd expect. So that's all very encouraging and um, this file is being used in the context of other files but actually I can generate some HTML just for this file on its own if I want. Um, it's uh, choose the right one. It's called empty. So I think it's uh, this one. Maybe it's not this one. Oh, there it is. So it's that one. Okay. Let's try that. Let's try that. And uh, let's generate some code. Let's just stick it in there for now. That's fine. And now we can see the code working. So there's demo. How often do you exercise? Oh, every day, of course. Um, oh, for more than an hour. And I'm a member of a gym. And I go 
most days and I can swim. Yes, once or twice a week. Okay, there we go and we can see that I'm very good and I'll get a voucher. So um, that's what I wanted to show you, that we can readily import decision tables using CSV files that uh, we've built up, say, using Excel, and we can put them into Visual. Thank you very much.